not the time for further excursions. We must return with news of Baldar post haste. Right. To the royal city then. Prep for engagement. Threat neutralized. Level low. We got this. Target sighted. I don't like the look of them. Stand back, Nina. Allow me. Wait. Glad we didn't run into any bad news. Indeed. Now let us make our way back to Captain Bertrand. Enemies up ahead! Enemy levels low. Threat neutralized. Destroy. Insufficient output. Threat neutralized. Malkia did make it to Nilbeth safe and sound, right? All we can do is wait and keep our faith in her. We should focus on matters we might yet influence. Let us return to the royal capital. Hurry for the royal palace. Captain Bertrand. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, I'll bear you, sir. Warning. Three levels blown. Destroy. End of the line. One second. Two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds.
Right then. First things first. We should head to the palace and see Captain Bertrand. to bet Elena and Melthea are making sure he does. True, true. They probably have him working harder than ever. I'm worried that Elena's got him working so hard he's gonna collapse. We ought to head by and check in on him later. Didn't take all that long to get back, huh? We should go find Captain Bertrand. The captain is likely waiting in the council chamber on the second floor of the palace. Once we've gotten everything taken care of, we should talk with Bertrand and take some time to rest up. As it may, we should advise all civilian ships in Kato and Rifle to refrain from setting sail. You have done excellent work. Lady Elena and Maester Midas are still hard at their research. I have been given orders to ask that you rest adequately upon your return, if you would. Malkia! Back already? <laughs> that sure was fast. The Levitas ore was ready to load on our arrival, allowing us to sail back through the night. But the ore yet remains in Kado. I hastened back alone. Why? I heard from the boy upon our return to Kado that Midas has been working non-stop with no rest. Time is of the essence, I am well aware, but his results will be abysmal if he does not sleep. I've just given Midas a stern talking to, and shall be taking over his duties while he gets some shut-eye. You can handle it? This would not be my first time doing so. Besides, I understand Levitas Orr better than anyone else. Ain't that the truth. All right, then. I hear the boy alone has been charged with transporting the ore. Do help him as much as you can. I dare say he could use the assistance. You got it. I'll head out to Kato with Nina now.
Ow, 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 ow. Oh, quit being such a baby. Ugh, cut me some slack, will ya? You saw that ore, right? Me, Albert, and Bertrand carried it all to the Consortium ourselves. I can hardly even feel my arms anymore. Those two are doing just fine, by the way. Maybe you need more exercise. They're lifelong soldiers. I'm just some regular old guy, okay? <laughs> Never met a civilian like you before, Ray. I'm helping out with the ore refinement from today. I entrust the heavy lifting to you. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Ugh. Our worst fears have been realized. We have uncovered an Imperial spy among our men. How do you manage that? We have made the discovery as we gathered intel on those involved in the coup and those wounded during the withdrawal from Baldar. Luckily, it seems to be someone with no knowledge of the Fogger. Theo's father and Neon must have snuck them in. Speaking of which, where is Theo and his dad now? Locked away in the dungeon. Good. Today is when we start the calibration of the Fogger in earnest, but there's no knowing for sure if we'll reach the number we need. I'd like to pull some solid info on the Empire from him if I could. Ah. Very well, then. I shall inform my men to grant you passage. The dungeon guard should be somewhere on the northwestern side of the ground floor. We should be able to get to the dungeon from the northwestern side of the palace. Let's go see what Theo and Lambert have to say. Guessing Theo's further ahead. Target sighted. Prep for engagement. Insufficient action. Batting at maximum. Usefulness low. Warning. Energy levels low. No threats detected. Greetings, Ray. Now, what brings you here? 
So, you hear how Leticia's getting hitched? Hitched? Yeah. Her and the Empire's Prince Gerard are getting married. What? Letty accepted their proposal? To buy us the time we need to flip the tables. Unlike your father there, our little princess hasn't given up this fight. Naught can be done to stand against the menace the Virians pose. To defy them would be madness. I wanted to ask you something. You and Theo know all sorts of stuff about the Empire, yeah? Don't suppose you've ever seen anyone else there that looks like Valange, Gaston, or Lola? I have not. Their celestial ship carried only the three of them, but was large enough to house three or four warships. Uh-huh. That's all, then? Are you so oblivious? A vessel larger than imagining. Able to float in the sky and fire endless volleys of light. I have seen the trifling guns they carry. Able to turn boulders to dust and pierce through iron. How can one resist the Empire after witnessing such... Yeah, ain't the first time I've witnessed it. What? Thanks. It's all I needed. I'll be back if I think of anything else. Huh. We might need to play our hand a little better. I should talk with Captain Bertrand. Flying without a trial? Such drivel! The Folga must be a secret. When we consider the quandary facing Princess Leticia and Chloe, we have no surplus of time on our hands. With the immense power at the Empire's disposal, our top priority should be getting the results we need. Don't worry. With my simulation data, we shouldn't have any need for an actual test run. I designed the Falga. How will I know its limits without a field trial? I can provide guidance via screen. I promise, it will output stable performance, even on the maiden voyage, even in poor weather conditions. That's all empty theory! A test is necessary to be certain of actual flight! Do whatever you want! Just do something! Today alone, I've got to service 20 Folga! None of your blathering matters if there's no damn Folga to fly! <sighs> Knowing they were built by you and checked by Elena is all the guarantee I need. Unless you want to tell me your theories or Elena's simulations are anything but perfect. I'm left with no choice. But I shall run a trial if the chance presents itself. You certainly know how to handle Midas. I take no pride in it. You want us to have Duke Lambert attend the royal wedding? Get not so loud, Cap. The idea seems right madness. What is your aim? Your Majesty, we can assume they'll have Neon and Valange there. The Duke will be our bluff. He was the leader of the National Forces, so having him there will leave them second-guessing our military might. If we allow the Duke to participate at such an important national event, it'll make it seem like his traitorous forces are holding up better than expected. And what it will also do... ...is lead our foes to believe we've no choice but to rely on the very man who plotted against us. Hmm. Exactly. The more they make light of us, the more impact the Folga should have. And how might things be progressing? Let's just say, uh, there's a reason why I want us to use every option we have. Bertrand. <sighs> say no more, your highness. We are out of time. Uh, wait! Surely you can spare a few moments. We are nearly ready. His Majesty and the Corps have already left for Baldar. The ceremony is less than half a day away. 
Even were the Folga completed, no time would be left to coordinate with our ground forces. There's no choice. You cannot give up on us. Elena and the others haven't. We don't have time for tests, and your Semiomancers aren't up to par. Using those things now would be asking for trouble. The Folga could never have been finished in the time allotted. However, this fact does not change our mission. We shall see the wedding disrupted, Her Highness safely rescued, and Baldar wrested back from the Empire's grasp. Let us build up the number of Folga for the final confrontation with the Empire. <sighs> our top priority for this operation is the safe return of Her Highness. Theo, Raymond, and I shall enter first and conceal ourselves near the Basilica. Once her escort allows us an opportune moment, we will surround Her Highness and work with the attending Bertrand Corps to extract her from the ceremony hall. This was my idea. It's risky for sure, I know. But we need people who know the situation on the ground over there. The King and Captain Bertrand both agree. If such is His Majesty's wish. Sorry to do this to you. Give Midas and them our best. <sighs> Very well. But please, be careful out there. Our aim is the hill to the east of Baldar. We can enter the Citadel from there. We leave at once, you two. We're on the same side now, so let's just forego all the nonsense and work like a team, okay? I appreciate your offer to travel together. Let us wait no longer. Initiate emergency program. the location of that knoll? Of course I do. Nothing could take it from my memory. We can reach it from the path to the southeast.
There it is. Same as it ever was. Quite true. Let us make our way atop it. All right. Looks clear. Let's slip in before we lose the cover of night. Theo, you should know. I do. Should my sentence be execution at your hands, I accept my fate. But I swear on my life, I shall never again betray Letty or any of our allies. I place my trust in your words. Hey, come now. Do not trust me again so easily. It makes me nervous. No. I believe you. But I shall strike you down just as swift should my faith be misplaced. That I swear on my life. I know you will. I would ask you to share what you have said here with Letty herself. That much I can promise. Let us make for Baldar. be able to make our way into Baldar down through here. Are we certain we remain safe? What is to be our move? We may perhaps blend in with the throng, but security is out in force. Yeah, that's where this fella comes in. Should we see to the area by the Basilica first? Yeah, let's see if we can't find a way in. Let me slip in from above and open it. Come on then, Duma. We gotta get up on that roof. We too shall continue our search for somewhere we might enter. We'll rejoin you later then, Ray. place that way is gonna lead is straight into a dungeon cell. Maybe I could get there with Duma's help. Busted. The Volga ready, Elena? Connection established. Do you copy? Does this device belong to Raymond Lawrence, captain of the Edis, outbound from the planet of Vergold? Huh? This ain't no Vergoldian code. Who is this? Pardon the sudden contact. This is the first officer of the Pangalactic Federation vessel Astoria, Mario L. Astoria?
You've got some nerve. Please, allow me to explain. We are currently en route to rescue the crew of the Edith. <laughs> rescue? I've got a record of you destroying the Edith, and a freighter's worth of evidence of you breaching your own UP3. Once I'm off this rock, you are done for. You hear me? Wait, who is in violation of the UP3? Explain yourself, please. What is going on? I ain't looking for help from someone who shot me down in the first place. I've already made contact with Vergold and got some actual help on the way. Thanks for wasting my time. Over. Wait, we still have to. <sighs> like I'm not busy enough. Come on, Ray. Gotta get back to the gang quick. Stairs, huh? Can't hurt to see what's down there. Come on, this way. And you are certain about this? Yeah, have some faith. Is Ott a mess? Ott sure is. Ah, forget about it. I found a place for us to hide out. Come on. Right. Make our way upstairs and look for somewhere to hide out. Back there looks like a good spot, eh? And one which grants us vantage over the interior of the Basilica as well. <laughs> I hid myself away for entire nights in places like this as a youth. <sighs> Hey, Raymond. What is it? You are shouldering a fair amount of pressure. Do not think you are alone. Rely upon us should the need come. Sure, yeah. When the time comes. See, Neon is quite in shock to see my father in attendance. He is not of our concern. Where is her highness? She's today's star. I'm just gonna have her out there on display. Today, on this finest day, it is an honor to gather here with you all as we witness history in the making. Our world has long been split in two, but today the Vale Empire and the Kingdom of Osarius at last come together as one. The hell? 
hell is that? Scorpio. Scorpio what? Gerard Euville, Leticia Arcerius. As of this very moment, the two of you stand as the makers of history, new rulers of our world. Step forth. Raymond, no word as of yet? Nope. And we're out of time. Looks like we'll be putting on a show, fellas. Come on. Elena! Outside. A new beginning! For a fleeting moment, I was not so averse to the idea of our marriage. <sighs> but I cannot love one who would forfeit their own wedding ceremony to some foul plot. Lady, why have you returned? Huh. Excitement has always followed you from the days of our youth, cousin. Where's the Emperor? <clears throat> we have lost him. Their numbers are too vast. And Prince Gerard? I am jealous. There are those who would lay their lives down for you. And in such numbers. For me come none. A pitiful man, such as myself could never truly deserve your love. Oh, you poor little thing. The Emperor has already been evacuated. Let's get you to safety, too. Leave me be! This is too much already. Oh, stop being such a petulant brat. Ax your age! Lola, you take care of the rest. Very well. We'll have a discussion about the device upon their return. Yes, yes. Hmm. Dissent amongst their ranks. I'm so sorry you had to see that. I commend you for carrying out such a cunning plan, despite the limits of this world's technology. But I come, under order of the Emperor. We'll be taking Princess Leticia into our custody. We are past such foolishness. This battle shall rage on until only the victor is left standing. Then expect no mercy from us. As long as we keep you alive, it doesn't matter what happens to your friends. Oh, no. 
has been decided. The Imperial forces are on the retreat. Most of their warships off the coast were driven away by our Fulga battalion. Victory is ours. Midas. I am sorry to have forced your Fulga into battle. And for much else. Ready to reconcile, then. We can discuss this after our return. Yes, and discuss we shall. These are the Virians you spoke of? Albert, Theo, seize them. There is much I might ask of them. <laughs> This... isn't over! I am Lieutenant Mariel L. Kenny of the Pangalactic Federation. The two of you are under arrest for violation of the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact. I know that voice! friend of yours? Yeah, real good friend. She's from the Astoria, the one that destroyed my ship. What? You're trying to take out the Virians in order to cover your tracks, are you? That is not true. We only... Behind you, Raymond! Neon, the battle is over. Surrender now! Is that your idea of a joke? Your Majesty... This is far from over. You can have Baldar back. One little fortress means nothing. We are not defeated yet. Neo! Look at what your selfish betrayal has cost us. After you and your father were promised glory under the Empire. Death and allowing such a thing come to pass. Then die. <laughs> Why? What would possess you to protect me? I am sorry, my boy. I should have known your anguish. 
<laughs> I ought to have done this from the start. Let us take our leave, Neon. Damn it! Get back here! Father! Father! His vitals are fading fast. Without a med pod, he might not make it. Father! Open your eyes! Please! I have yet to atone for my betrayal to you! Hold. We still have much to discuss back home. My good friends... I... I am sorry. Radio your sick bay. Uh, what? Listen to me. That ship of yours knows what's going on down here. Get that man into a med pod now! I, I can't! The underdeveloped planet protect. It's your Federation tech that's about to kill this underdeveloped planet's king! <sighs> We've got an android here, recording this entire situation! I dare you to let him die! I'll rip apart the Federation piece by piece till there's not a damn thing left! Fine. I get it. This is Mariel. Akizuki, do you read? I am requesting a med pod transfer here. Stat. It is for the elderly man lying near me. Father! Don't worry, Leticia. The king is gonna be okay. Do you truly mean it? You bet. Now let me introduce you to our savior who's gonna see to it. Golden child of the Pan Galactic Federation, and apparently a regular UP3 rule breaker, Lieutenant Marielle Kenny. I've got a lot of questions, and you've got the answers. Understood. Please commence transfer. cause for concern. Indeed. My body has made that much very apparent. Why, I feel as if my entire being has been cleansed. Lambert. Now I too have seen it. A glimpse of the realm of stars. I see. If these fellows were our foes, I would surely have lost my nerve much, much earlier than you. Brother. While inside that contraption, I overheard one of your subordinate state that in saving my life, you may have violated the laws of your world. It was the Pangalactic Federation that violated the laws of your kingdom first. That place. A boat which sails among the stars. I should love to see its interior at least once. Pardon me, your highness. But please, you must rest for now. Hmm. Leticia, Burton. If you would be so kind as to take things from here, I believe I will take Lady Mario's advice. Yes. But father, I... Be at ease. I shall remain beside your father. 
Maester. We have much to discuss. Including what comes next as well. I understand. Thank you, Maester Midas. Hmm. All right. Maybe that's our cue to have our own little talk. Okay, then. Let me contact my ship and have it prepare for transfer. Hey, Bertrand. Is there somewhere around here we could borrow for a bit while we talk? But... but that means the people of this planet could overhear us. Give me a break. A Kenny getting all stiff over some treaty? Or did you forget that this is all on account of you using us for target practice? So be it. Mariel to Akizuki. I'm going to speak with Captain Raymond and some of the local populace for a moment. Y yes, I understand. However, please hold your position. Thank you for waiting, shall we? Let us make our way to the Council Chamber. Right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.